Okay. okay. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, now we got you again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be struggling here. Uh, believe, it believe it or not. Believe it or not. Because, okay. because see, the crocodiles was part of their God. I've never heard that it was Me a crocodile. Me neither. That's so, something new. But okay. so well, it, came, new. It, it came in eight, eight theirs up. Okay. But see, we have a tendency to, 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 to uh, okay. placate things. Mm -hmm. And Hollywood likes to placate things. So we see things on television, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because the Bible says that uh, Abraham came from the land of Ur, and the land of Ur is really Baghdad, Iraq. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's get back. I, I, I'm, I'm holding on to that, but let's get to this crocodile business. Well, let's, <laughs> <laughs> you're not going to escape. Okay, it was now, no, it was, I want you to know, how did you come about a I read crocodile? It. You I, read it. I read it. I, read it. I, read, I went to school. I went to theological school. School. Wow. I said middle school. Okay, but I'm telling you, where did they get it from? I got to know. We get it from the original the text. Original text. Mm -hmm. Okay, and and that is. Uh, they don't put that in the Bible because the, see the. Uh, now, do you have any uh, documentation to show that? Oh yes, I do. Okay, yeah, well, now I'm going to challenge you to bring that documentation <laughs> next week. Okay, yeah. uh, so we, I'll let you off the hook on the hot, uh, crocodile. Let's move on. Then. Uh, <laughs> One so more thing I want to talk back. about. I'm not going to forget. No, <laughs> Please don't. Okay. No. All right. There's one more thing I want to really talk about. It's for some reason God was uh, always pressing on it. It talks about miracle of Jonah. Jesus okay. Christ told us, he said, no, no more miracles will be given to this generation, but the miracle of Jonah. And then it says, you know, for three days and three nights, he was in the belly of the, of the fish. And, and everybody is thinking this is the miracle. Okay. Is that the real miracle, what you just get in the fish for three days and you survive? That's a miracle? Well, I would say Or the whole story people don't understand. <laughs> I mean, okay. Let's, let's go back to so the original would be story. A miracle. If I stayed live in a fish for three days, that would be a miracle. I wouldn't object or reject I know, it. But there is, a, okay. there is a bigger thing to it. So right, okay. let's, let's kind of review the, the whole story of Jonah. Okay. Jonah was a prophet. He, yes, was, he, was. Uh, he was a servant of God. Um, there was a city called Nineveh, mm -hmm. and in the city of Nineveh, there was a Syrian king with all his army, mm -hmm. and the Syrian king was killer. Murder, he just, you can't talk to him, he kills you. Mm -hmm. That's it. So that's why, and all of a sudden, God tells Jonah, saying, you got to go to Nineveh and tell those people to repent. And if they don't do it, I will destroy them, with, and they'll be gone. And Jonah got scared, and he goes and boards the ship, going to opposite direction, totally opposite direction. Mm -hmm. And the captain actually was a very godly person. Mm -hmm. So now, I don't know how long it took, and they, they're already in the middle of the sea. All of a sudden, there's a huge storm going on, and the captain can't figure out why is God so angry with him. So he started asking questions, who got the, the problem with God? So and finally they get to Jonah, who was hidden, hiding himself in the bottom of the ship, and he tells them, what's, yes, I'm running from God, and, uh, you know, that was supposed to go to Nineveh. So he said, oh, Captain said, okay, then ask your God what can we do to stop all this so we don't perish. Mm -hmm. And Jonah tells him, saying, you know, we just threw me in the sea. If you would be that captain, would you do that? I don't know. I, I, first of all, I had a hard time believing uh, and then, all this is coming about because of him. You know, okay, but, and then? Then, it, then it's, it's crazy enough that the storm comes up. Now, here's a man telling me, throw this man in the yeah, sea. Yeah, he sailed in the sea. Yeah, and all yeah, that's, I don't know if I would believe that. I mean, you know, I, I would believe that I'd get capital punishment if I did something like yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. So now, they finally agreed and threw him in the sea. And the next scene you see... A fish comes and eats it up. Now that's unbelievable. So now you really know what you just killed the guy. All right, now you see why I hold up this book of uh, 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 you know, believe, believe it or not, believe it or not, because you know you guys. Are then it up goes some stuff that's hard to believe. Why should we believe all of this? Because it's people peanut really don't want to believe in Jesus still today. They don't even want to believe he was resurrected from the dead. Mm -hmm. They don't want to. Believe that he walked on water. They don't want to believe he healed I'm a leper. They don't want to God. believe that he healed a blind man. Stories, but they, I listen. I put it to you like this here. Yeah. I didn't want to do God's work myself. Okay. Since I was a little boy, mm -hmm. I was shot in the head three times, mm -hmm. shot in the leg. Mm -hmm. I was stabbed. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Almost like Jonah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Differently. <laughs> I really didn't want to do God's work. Back in 1985, I believe, I kept getting called to the pulpit. I kept running and running and running. Mm -hmm. Somebody here working, making money, doing different things for the government, doing different things over here. Mm -hmm. My son gets killed. Oh, man. Man, he was 16 years old, going on 17. He got shot. Oh man! And 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 he was he was he was murdered and everything else. I was like, I cried, I weep. I know you had to. And and I still told God I didn't want to do it. Don't you know if God yeah. threw me in jail and everything else and stripped me down for nothing? Then when I started doing it, then God made me homeless. I came to Battle Creek. When I come to Battle Creek, still homeless. Then God sent me to the gospel mission. I was homeless down there too. <laughs> Thank God, wait a minute, goodness. check this out. No, see shit, but, but, but see, look here. Sometimes your situation, mm -hmm. your situation that we think is so bad, that's God when he's about to bless you. Okay. That's when you go to the potter house. Mm -hmm. Moses had to go to the potter house. Mm -hmm. you know, Moses was a royal king. Mm -hmm. All day in Egypt. Here he is talking to Jephro. Jephro telling him about a uh, God that he really don't want to serve and don't want to believe and everything else. Jephro was this black man with his black daughters and everything else. And mm -hmm. he taught him how to herd goats and sheep and everything else. Told him everything about God. Mm -hmm. He didn't want to believe. Mm -hmm. But see, that's why your book is called Believe It or Not. Mm -hmm. Either we believe in the Creator or we don't. That's true. That's true. And since I've been doing the will of God, mm -hmm. I had nothing but an overflow. Mm -hmm. How many men you know go through all these things and God told me with a smooth, calm voice, I'm going to bless you with the hand. How many men you know who got a $4 billion contract? Okay, he got a set aside money coming for over $55 million. But look what I had to go through to get to this point. I'm telling you, that's, that's incredible. Look what, I had, look, what I had, look what I had to go through. Mm -hmm. I went through several wives. Mm -hmm. Look what I had to go through. Because I had to put my trust in God. I had to lay before God, prostrate myself, and just lay there. Then God said, I asked God, what do you want me to do? He said, get my tickets in order for that out of order. Don't you know that's a hard task? Yes, it is. Well, all these different homosexual men and, 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 and women up there on the pulpit, and God say, this is a bumpership to him. But yet they sit to say they serve Jesus. When I sit down and talk to Jesus, believe it or not, when I talked to Jesus, I said, Jesus, the people on earth is not afraid of you. He's, he said, why is that? I said, because they're not afraid of you. They praise you, they praise you, they're not afraid of you, but they're more afraid of the Father than you. Because when the Father comes, they run mm -hmm. like roaches. Mm -hmm. That's what's going on. Believe it or not. Believe it or not. Wow, that, that is, that is uh, uh, incredible. Um, and... Uh, you know, I, I wish that we had a lot of I time. I gotta finish the story. We're, we're, we're um, <laughs> I'm sorry. We're, no, no, that was good. I, you know, I, I know that we'll have to continue this. We I gotta finish the story. You. Sure, you have a chance. Go ahead. Go ahead. So, okay, and, just like story. Robert was running away from God, and God <laughs> still was in control. So, fish, after three days, spits him up right mm -hmm. in front of Nineveh, mm -hmm. and what happened? He still had to go and tell those people, the most worst of the worst people, mm -hmm. tell them what? Mm -hmm. Either you change or you're going to die. Mm -hmm. What happened? They change. They change. Yes. So hold on. Hold on. When you tell the worst of the worst mm -hmm. and they change, that's what's called miracle of Jonah. Yes, it was. And that's right. the only miracles you're going to see right now in the world when you tell the worst of the worst and least expected person, and he changes and he goes and glorifies God. That's a miracle. Everything else is BS. Amen. Now, listen, I, I got to sum it up on that. <laughs> Amen. Uh, and on those two stories, I must sum it up because uh, I wasn't able to share with you, but um, in Wisconsin, there was a young man facing 200 years in prison uh, because of uh, accusations and charges. Uh, they held these charges over his head to, uh, and then wanted him to make a plea bargain so that uh, he would be able to go out the next day. But they kept him in jail for 750 days prior to uh, trial, which is, you know, very wrong. Okay, but I want to tell you that the, uh, the Spirit of God sent me all the way to Wisconsin to talk Amen. to that young man. And he said, I don't know you, I don't want to know God, and why are you here? I said, the reason why I'm here is because God told me to come here and tell you Amen. that he's trying to save your life. 
and that he's got a bigger plan. I said, he could have allowed you to die, but he chose Amen. to let you live, just like he allowed Jonah to yeah. live, just like he allowed you to live, yes. just like he allowed me to live and yes. you to live Amen. for the purpose. And this is why our Friends of Justice is here. But do you know the miracle was that they dropped all of those charges? Amen. Uh, not, they dismissed that case against him, so he no longer faces the 200 years in prison. But there's other hurdles that he has to go through. But he wrote me a letter, and I said all this to say that he wrote me a letter. I got it just the other day, and it was the most moving letter I've ever received from a person. Mm -hmm. He's still in, incarcerated, uh, not because he did anything wrong, but because of charges. And so we're mounting up a fight to bring him out of there, and uh, it's going to be a demand that they release him because they have really nothing to hold him. But I just want to say that you are absolutely right. Before the awful and great day of the Lord's coming, the day, uh, Jonah, the sign of Jonah will be given. That's exactly. just what you all described. And, and if people don't understand that, well, just tune into uh, this show here, Friends of Justice. Amen. Friends of Justice um, is talking about God's justice from the top because God's justice is the only one that's right. All the rest of everybody else is guessing. And, and before you can even talk about God's justice, you have to understand the God factor. Either you believe God or you don't believe him. Amen. And but God has already, already provided for that type of attitude in John three sixteen. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that everybody can say it with me that whosoever believeth shall have everlasting life. Amen. And He also says to him that believeth shall be uh, of salvation, and to him that doesn't believe shall be damnation. Mm -hmm. So it's your choice. Stay tuned. Stay in touch with us. Friends of Justice for God Production. We have real people with real answers. Thank you and have a blessed day Amen. until next time.